had our fair share of sunshine so far this week. Getting a break from that today, but if it brings some rain, I don't think people have much to complain about. I think most people are okay with this because they, you realize in little ways that we're heading towards it being too dry. Yep. You know, you just kind of sense it like this. Because it's not, also been so windy, and you you right. know that combination is bad. It all dries out. So yeah, a little rain today. Not going to be a ton, but what's interesting about the precipitation right now is it's so close to the edge of the cloud shield. So, you know, a lot of times the clouds will come in, it'll be several hours and then the rain comes in. In this case, look where the cloud shield is going through Bangor right now. And then look at the rain shield, it's right behind it. So pretty much as soon as you cloud over, you've got the chance for showers coming in. These have been very light. In fact, some of these have not even been hitting the ground, according to the reports that I've had, but these certainly will coming out of New Hampshire. Uh, this is the best chance of some heavier downpours. And overall, the system isn't all that big. It's just basically a front right here. So it's going to drive through this afternoon and then behind it will start to clear out. So we're unlikely to get a lot of rain from this. Not that we're in a huge drought or anything. Again, it's just the sense that our pattern has been dry the past couple of weeks. I don't see any big rain really in the next seven days. So you can see how that could get cumulative quickly model spitting out 0.3 0.4 inches uh, of rain maybe and a couple of these are actually picking up on thunderstorms on saturday so most of the rain from this system is between a quarter and a half inch of rain maybe a downpour or two possible later this afternoon that would be best case scenario temperatures once the clouds roll in kind of flatten around 50 degrees and then into the upper 40s late this afternoon into this evening the last of that rain is out of here by midnight at the latest then we kind of hang this low this low cloud deck around a little bit tomorrow morning so it will call tomorrow a mixture of sun and clouds but i think we'll do better in the afternoon than we do in the morning temperatures will start to pop into the 60s by tomorrow afternoon but it actually will end up I think a below average day in a lot of spots uh, temp wise fog tries to come back on shore on Saturday morning and then the battle here is going to be how quickly we can burn that off on Saturday. I think we'll do pretty well away from the coastline getting rid of this fog quickly along the coast. It might be more of a struggle. And of course, it'll keep temperatures down over down East Maine. But see how we're building those temps here through the middle of the day uh, on Saturday into the 80s, 90s, and then some mid 90s, I think very likely into Oxford County and back into New Hampshire as well. This has been the toughest part of this forecast. We know that overall the pattern is conducive for big heat and it's just trying to nail down what the exact wind direction is going to be. I'll tell you that overnight the models came just a little bit more south with this wind which is kind of trouble for the coastline on Saturday. So I've got us in the 70s in Portland and Wiscasset and then the 60s in Rockland and Bar Harbor kept the heat inland into the 80s and then 90s into Freiburg again Concord Manchester Nashua will be into the mid uh, and maybe even some upper 90s pretty squarely now on Sunday we're going to try to turn the winds a little bit more southwest it's still pretty close though such that I think that Portland can will get to 80 but as soon as that wind direction switches enough it was Cassett Rockland Bar Harbor I think it'll be a little bit too cool in the 60s Again, inland into the upper 80s and low 90s and a chance for pop up shower or thunderstorm both Saturday afternoon and again on Sunday afternoon. So the heat is there. It's just a matter of where exactly you are as it typically is. We'll certainly be hotter inland than we will along the coast. Evening thunderstorms possible on Sunday. There's a mountain thunderstorm possible on Saturday, too. I just don't think it's a big enough deal to put it in the seven day because most of us will be dry cooling off on Monday. But, you know, we talked about this a little yesterday when you're above average like that, coming back to behind a cold front <laughs> isn't so bad. You're still around 70 degrees. Yeah. So. And, I, and I suspect people will like the pattern if it holds up of the weekends kind of getting the attention. Yeah. You know. Hey, look, you don't know how we talked, you know, you know how summer is going to go. So just bank these days and enjoy them. Yeah. Make the most of them. Thanks, Keith.